Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be talking to you about my top 20 beauty products under £10. This will be really useful if you're just starting out with makeup or you just don't want to be splurging on high-end products just yet. So um, these are products that I would 100% recommend and I use on a daily basis. So I will keep a list of all the products mentioned in this video in the description box below um, with their prices. So the first product I'm going to be mentioning is the Dream Satin Liquid by Maybelline. I love this foundation, it's what I use every day. I bought these foundations in April 2013 and this is how far I've got with them. Um, even though this does give you a satin finish, it doesn't make you look super oily. So that's that. So next up for concealer, I've got the Collection 2000 concealer and I've read so many good reviews about this and this is so inexpensive it gives you really good coverage it is amazing quality for its price which is about i think it's less than five pounds so that's that so next up for powder i've got the rimmel stay matte powder this is in the shade silky beige and as you can see i have hip pan this foundation does keep me matte for about four to six hours. It is amazing. I've read amazing reviews for this, so I'm not the only one who loves this product, but yes. So next up for blush, I've got this one by Gosh. It is in the shade 42 Melon, and it's just this lovely kind of coral colour that you do have to build up initially but once you build it up enough it does give me the best looking natural blush. I do recommend this blush if you have a slightly tan skin tone. And then finally for bronzer I've got this Dream Sun Triple Bronzing Powder by Maybelline and this is in the shade 2 Brunette and <laughs> I have dropped this quite a few times but it does come with three different shades. It comes with a highlighting shade, a kind of medium brown, and then a darker brown. I use the darker brown for contouring. The highlighting shade isn't that great. It doesn't really show up on my skin, but the dark brown really does make up for it. So that's that. So next up for highlighting, I actually use this eyeshadow by Maybelline. This is super old, so I don't know if you can still get it, but that's the shade. Uh, it's like a champagne kind of shimmery shade and it's called seashell and it's a expert wear eyeshadow and this is like the perfect highlighting color for me and I use this on my brow bone and sometimes on my cheeks so, so moving on to eye products this is the sleek um, brow kit and it comes with a wax and a powder and two little brushes a little angled brush like that and a little round brush with a powder, which I don't know has gone. And it does actually come with the tiniest little pair of tweezers, uh, but I really can't use it because it doesn't really have a long handle, so I don't really bother with that. But I think this is a really good substitute for the, um, the brow kit by Benefit, the brow zing. Uh, this is the darkest one that they have, so you would use the wax first, and then you use the powder to kind of set the wax. Uh, so next up I've got this eyeshadow palette by Sleek and this is the Storm 578 palette. I love Sleek eyeshadow palettes. They are amazing quality for the price that you pay and their eyeshadows are so pigmented. Yeah. And this shade is actually a really good dupe for the um, Half Baked by Urban Decay that's in the Naked 2 palette. So yes. And sometimes I use this shade for my eyebrows and this one to contour. I don't know if you can see that, but <laughs> yeah. Moving on to eyeliner. This is my number one liquid eyeliner. I have been using this for about 10 years. Um, yeah, so this is the Glam Eyes Professional Liquid Liner by Rimmel. And it's in the shade Black Glamour. And the brush is really thin. Some people don't really like that, but I like how it gives me really good precision. Precision. So yeah. For the pencil, this is by Rimmel again, even though the name's kind of scratched off. And as you can see, it's kind of been sharpened down quite a bit. I like to use this on my waterline. So moving on to lashes, these are my all-time favourite false lashes. Um, they are the Demi Whiskies by um, Ardell. 
they're not in the um, box because I'm currently wearing them but they are the most kind of natural looking but dramatic at the same time and these are really inexpensive so next up for mascara I've got the Maybelline the Rocket Volume Express and I love this mascara it's really volumizing and it does give you really good length as well the wand is so big but I can't remember if this is bigger than Colossal or not but I do prefer this over Colossal because Colossal didn't really sharp on my eyes as much as this one did one thing I would say is that the formula is really wet so if you sweat under the eyes and you look down a lot and, um, you, it does tend to smudge underneath so I would recommend going for the waterproof version but other than that it is a great mascara now I'm moving on to lip products my first product is the Maybelline Baby Lips this is in the shade Cherry Me and, oh great <laughs> as you can see I am almost out um, I love this, it's really moisturising and it has that little cherry tint so I tend to go out wearing just this most of the time so yeah. So next up I've got this Maybelline New York Colour Drama Intense Velvet Lip Pencil um, So this is in the shade Keep It Classy and it's just this big jumbo kind of lip pencil that you can use all over your lips and it does feel really velvety so you can use this as a lip liner or as a full-on kind of lip colour in itself so that's another product I recommend so moving on this is probably going to be my like honourable mention this is the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet um, lipstick and it comes in a kind of liquid form it kind of looks like a lip gloss but when it goes on your lip it does kind of act like a lipstick and I've got the matte finish they have a satin finish as well but I've got the matte finish this is definitely a really good dupe for um, Max Ruby Woo uh, the only thing I will say is that it is slightly darker than Ruby Woo I feel like Ruby Woo is a little bit more orange but this is a little bit more burgundy and this is in the shade number eight Grand Cru I think this is the darkest shade that was available okay so moving on to um, brushes I have got this Revlon and it comes in like a little travel like cover that you can actually put onto the end and have a long brush this is amazing um, it doesn't shed and it does the job it's pretty self-explanatory um, but I would definitely recommend that especially if you're going out and it does condense into this kind of size and it's so easy to carry around so yeah now moving on to um, face brushes I've got these two brushes by Avon I think they were about five pound each I did get them a while ago but these brushes are amazing I use this one to bronze and I use this one for contouring because it's angled they are so soft and um, they don't shed at all I, I don't think I've ever experienced any shedding from any of these in the time that I've had them and used them so next I've got this blush brush by Real Techniques I love the Real Techniques brushes I've got this one because this one's uh, under £10 this one I think is 9 99 but it does help apply blush really evenly the next product is the Real Techniques Miracle Sponge um, I got this because it was a lot cheaper than a beauty blender, I didn't really want to be paying £15 for a sponge that I could get for £7. I use this to apply my foundation and it gives me a really even coverage and um, I just love the finish that it gives me uh, compared to a brush or um, using my hands. It's actually domed on this side and then it's kind of got a flat edge here which helps you get into all the like hard to reach places. So that is another must have my final product is my holy grail and it is talcum powder um, it's my holy grail because it has so many uses you can use it as dry shampoo to absorb any grease from your hair you can use it as translucent powder I've been using this in place of translucent powder just to top up any like shine so that is it for my top 20 beauty products under £10 I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time bye
come to be and it's in the shade black damp black black and it's in the shade and it's in the shade black up <laughs> and it's in the shade black glamour this these are my all-time favorite lashes Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara. And this is the shade 